Hi guys, my name is Sai and today I will tell you how can you sideload any Android application on your Samsung Galaxy watches which is based on Wear OS. So sideloading is not sufficient because if you're going to sideload directly any Android application on your watch, so maybe it will going to crash. So I will tell you how can you fix it and also you need, you can face one other issue like uh, you not to able uh, login on WhatsApp or Telegram. So how can you fix that issue also? I will clear all the doubts, all the issues in this video. But before going to the process, if you are new on this channel, don't, don't forget to subscribe and also join our Telegram channel where I provide important files and update. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. Okay, as you can see, I am going to do this process on my Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. So pre-reposits is you need to any one Android phone and of course your Samsung Galaxy Watch. And the most important thing we need to connect both the devices with uh, same Wi-Fi. Note that both the devices is connected with same Wi-Fi. Okay, after that, the next step we need to do it. Simply uh, open the watch settings then okay open the watch settings then go on about watch then go on the software information so here it is the software information then tap six to seven times on software version okay i again repeat first go on the about watch then go on the software information then six to seven times tab on the software version when you see the developer option is enabled as we can see developer option is enabled simply open this option then scroll down and enable the adb debugging okay and also enable the debug over wi-fi option so as you can see i already enabled this both the options now the super important thing is we need to note that this ip address 172.20.10.11 Coulomb 5555. So here it is the most important thing we need to note that. Okay, now, now move on the Android. We need to download uh, two applications, which is one is PUBG application and other one is uh, Easy Fire Tool application. So install this both the applications. I already installed it. So now the, what can we do? So now open the PUBG application because we need to set DPI first. So after opening the PUBG application, as we can see, click on this plug button. Okay. Now the most super important point is we add this uh, IP address, which is 172.20.10.11. So add this IP address. Okay. After adding also, we need to add uh, four times five, which is shown on our watch. Okay. Add this. So uh, same values on this and click on connect. Okay. Wait for it. It going to load wait for it okay on the bottom you can see it is connected device is connected but it's loading just click on cancel don't worry about it just ignore it then type the command wm space density space now the super important thing is you can set the density value 200 or 250. So I'm going to set 200. Okay. After typing this value, just hit on enter button. Okay. So, okay. Density is changed as you can see at the right of my watch icons are going to very small and I think it is not comfortable to use. So I'm going to set 250 value okay note that 250 value is compatible to use and if you want to reset your density value just replace 250 to reset text okay that means type command wm space density space reset if you want to reset your density value okay now super important thing is 250 value of density is perfect is compatible to use any application on our watch okay so i set the density value to 250 okay and it is comfortable for me okay now what is next open the easy fire tool 
APK. Okay, open the Easy Fire Tool APK and uh, open the settings option of the watch. Then go on developer option and note this IP address which we previously uh, entered on our Bubjigger application, right? So we need to go on settings option on Easy Fire Tool and set this same IP address set the watch same IP address on our easy fire tool application then click on this uh, connect button here it is the connect button just click on it and wait for it it going to load okay so as we can see it's connected now what is next now the super important thing is don't install application which is installed on your Android device. That means don't install directly. Don't sideload directly these application which is shown on our screen, which is already installed our Android device. So how what we need to do? So simply click on custom APK file. Okay. And select download application, which we want to install on our watch. So click on select file. I'm going to select any application. I will tell you how can you download the application how can you download application on which site I will uh, I will tell all these things later just I am tell you how can you sideload any application so here it is I am going to sideload C Linux mod changer okay I am going to sideload this application so select this click on select then click on install button yes okay now it takes some time so we need to wait it Okay, if it go, if it takes lot of time, then go back and again repeat this process. Okay, okay, as we can see the application is successfully side loaded. Okay, I'm going to open. Okay, application is opened and there is no crashing issue. So it is fine. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Uh, now talking about how can you download applications? I mean, where you can download these applications which you want to sideload. So just visit on this site. This is a up down site. So download the application which you want to install on your watch like Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, WhatsApp. All applications are available which you want to install on your watch just download from here and follow the same steps which i previously shown okay and if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care